All right, let's go ahead and work on the dialog bubble next. Uh, this is going to be the simple version of a dialog system, meaning it's the little bubble part that if you walk next to something and it pops up. So we'll go down to our dialog bubble, and we have in it, we currently have three different types that we're going to work through, but you can put in, so for instance, there's a, uh, let's go to uh, a shape here. So the body uh, idle right here, and these can also all be animations. There are different ones to each one. So you might have a small, uh, let's go to this one. You might have the bubble shape going across it. Uh, you might have a hard edges going around. This is setting it up so that you can have up to 10 per dialogue bubble. That way, in case the, when you're setting it up you can do just one but you may want to have it where it's uh, the full range of emotions for a conversation um, so what we're going to do though is set up three different ones here and I'll go ahead and select the folder get it to process all right so let's go ahead and click on the dialog bubble and then scroll down we'll see the dialog bubble simple right there there's also going to be a narrating system as well and it's going to be similar to this but a little bit more in depth for fuller story content um, choices and all those kind of elements to it but the dialogue bubble I'm going to start off just go up to the top here we'll just say dialogue bubble and description it's just a quick message system all right general settings for this we're not going to receive light on the object here because it's going to create another object which will be the um, the element that shows now you can also like for usually when I'm when I make a, uh, a dialogue bubble I actually make it so it's invisible to the um, uh, the actual image isn't being used it's just simply an indicator as to where you can walk over and then have other items that actually are the piece to make it uh, um, like if it's a signpost or something have another piece of art to use for that uh, for this one though we'll just put this in the background here the um, the frames per second, uh, if you had frames animations for it, you could slow it down a little bit. We're going to go grab the thumbnail here. All right. And again, I'm going to leave it visible here just so that as a when you first play it, you'll be able to see it. But the intention is to actually turn it off and uh, the other elements around would be the cue for you to know that you want to go over there and enable it for the uh, for the dis for the message. All right, so the collider will turn off on these. And then if we scroll down, one of the things we're going to look for, so when it comes to the uh, the triggering for it, we can actually set it up for trigger settings and enable this option here. Now we're going to do the activate, though, a little bit differently. Um, by default, we've been just allowing it to be that if any object rolls on top of it moves into the box it automatically triggers this time though we want to say that you have to move into the box and push your input key so like if you were pushing e on the keyboard it would engage the uh, the conversation so the message box would pop up all right um, also the tile animation uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the uh, thumbnail for this one there's not really you don't really need it but I'm gonna do it since it's visible I want to make sure that at least it's playing through the right animation for it all right, and with those, that's going to set up our trigger system on there. The uh, the rest of it down below here, if I just scroll down, bottom right here, the message text and oh, the dialog system here, all the way through. These are going to be the next set. This is going to be specific to the dialog, and we'll set up those and the animations and everything that applies to it there.